Hey now, it's Thursday, April 11th. I am sick as a dog, but I still wanted to shoot this video because I'm homesick and nothing else to do. And we are at Fergie Jenkins. Fergie Jenkins may be like the Bob Feller of my generation. Uh, he signs everywhere. I can't believe there's somebody out there that wants a Fergie Jenkins autograph that doesn't have one already. Uh, I have met Fergie Jenkins multiple times. The first time I remember was at the 1993 National in Chicago. And this is sort of crazy. Let me adjust my light here. This is sort of crazy in the sense that uh, I'll move it. So he was doing an interview at the National on the autograph floor, away from where the, all the signings were. And after he was done, he started signing autographs for people for free at the National. It was not a nice autograph. It was junky. It's on my very first baseball with a bunch of other players. I'm not going to show it off. It was pretty bad, but it was real. I just couldn't believe anyone would even sign an autograph for free. Like that shows you the kind of person that Fergie Jenkins is, not was, is. Uh, I got him again at a baseball game when he was coaching with the Cubs. He would often sign a lot on the field. And then uh, we brought him in. We, I do every year we bring in a Hall of Famer for our golf outing. And one year we brought in, ta-da, Mr. Fergie Jenkins. So this is me and Fergie. Uh, actually, he didn't sign it this week. I saw him the next week in the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. Uh, that was when I got Roy Halladay and Vladimir Guerrero. That was Guerrero. Halladay's like second to last show ever. So he signed 10 bucks. I mean, Fergie Jenkins, a uh, great pitcher. I wouldn't say good, I would say great. He has the all time wins for any African American pitcher at 284. He's over 3,000 strikeouts. Uh, he like he has the record for like the closest margin of getting in the Hall of Fame. He got like seventy five point like four percent votes. He got in like by one vote on his third ballot. Uh, over three thousand strikeouts. So the man's a Hall of Famer, and the man does a lot of signings. Like he's doing a signing next week for like fifty bucks, which is not bad for a Hall of Famer these days. So not a tough autograph at all. So, uh, anyways, let's go ahead and take a look quickly because no one's forging a Fergie auto Jenkins autograph. He's so much out there. Let's look at the autograph now. So still, let's give him his proper due. Definite Hall of Famer, Fergie Jenkins. Again, PSA database where I like to start. Like, again, he's just like, this is what you're going to see. So this is kind of like a seven. You can see right here. He slides like down then up and around like this. You can sort of see the seven right here and then put the line right through. Then the rest of his name, he's going to sign like this. The G is kind of hard to make out. But again, it's all one stroke. And then the Jenkins kind of mostly looks like an eight. I mean, this is a more recent autograph of his. And again, you can see the full Jenkins. Usually there's not a break. I don't I think the pen skipped right here with the uh, the K uh, right here. He likes to dot his eyes, as you can see as well right here. Comedy puts Hall of Fame 91. This is a stat ball, as you can see. Uh, just looking on, again, this is a book that he signed. Again, it, the autograph hasn't changed much. As you can see, the seven or like a V, which is... Starts out right here, comes in, loops around, and does that straight F. See that nice big, like, looks like an eight to me right here. Again, the Fergie and the Jenkins all online. You can see he dots his eyes right here. I give it Hall of Fame 91. Uh, this is a contract from 1967. His autograph hasn't changed much from then until now. I mean, you look at it. So I see, like, people call it a seven. I call it a V. Comes in, loops it around, straight line. This is a full Ferguson Jenkins right here. You can see a full eight right here. <coughs> Excuse me. So, again, there's 16 different – again, this is this is the common autograph you're going to see. This is like a $15, $20 autograph, honestly. Uh, like I said, no one's faking him. You can see right here the dash and the round and come about right this. He puts that line right through, and then the Fergie, and then the Jenkins with the eight. Uh, I mean, just going through, there's not much here. They all look the same to me. I mean, it's a very tough autograph to forge is a good thing. But the thing is, like, like I said, no one's forging Fergie Jenkins. He's like he's been so popular and been around so long that uh it's just tough to forge, in my opinion. I'm looking at Ron's book right now. He says it's easy to forge. I don't think so, but I mean, we can keep going here. I don't know if there's anything else. I mean, Again, I don't know what's the sign. It looks like an older ball just based on the ink. But again, you see the eight right here. You see the like comes here, the V, the straight line, the Ferguson, and the Jenkins over this like that. I mean, it all looks to me the same. So again, this is an old school 1971 autograph. But even that, I mean, the V, the, the Jenkins, you can still see the eight right there. So I don't want to spend a lot more time on Fergie Jenkins. This is gonna be a short video because again, he like if you, he's like 25 bucks. I've been looking at eBay. He's not expensive. So 
if you need him, he's there. But otherwise, let's get to a harder autograph next, and that's going to be Hugh Jennings. So five minutes, that's it for Fergie. As always, keep collecting.